Hello everyone, I'm of course John Doe Ryder in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm on my way to work right now, but I did want to take a time to make a video as I make my way to the train here. We'll talk about something quite interesting. Now, for the second year in a row, we've had a hafu, someone of mixed racial origin, become Miss Japan. She'll represent Japan in a beauty contest of all things. And a lot of people don't you know, freaking out about this and stuff like that. And, but yet, there's this um, push the past year or so to highlight hafus in Japanese society, most notably in, um, on television with celebrities called talentos, in sports, and of course, beauty pageants. And everybody knows a lot of other people who say, oh, what a good thing, you know. Japan's changing, we're becoming a more diverse society. But when I started thinking about this more, it becomes clear to me it's really not what's going on. Because all these things that, you know, people who are hafu are being featured in are extremely commodified things. You know, like, um, let's have half your beauty queens, you know, they're unique. So we can sell more beauty products, of course. Now we can feature more hafu looking women and show the, the beauty, international beauty, you know, that many Japanese women get obsessed with. Look at these talent holes, these hafus on TV, celebrities, right? Again, it comes down to that uniqueness that Japanese society is obsessed over at times. And they want to see that. They want to see someone who looks different or acts different. Ooh, look at that. Ah, we can sell more ads. And sports, you know, of course, the obvious highly commodified aspect of sports. Where, you know, hey, look at this guy. It's half food. Look how great he is. Buy his jersey. Buy the hat of the baseball team or whatever sport he's in. Make us some money off of him. So it seemed just commodifying this segment of Japanese society. Who, by the way, only makes up 2% of the entire population. You know, so I don't really see this being some great change because it's not and look at it from another point of view you know what it's like for for people who are half food to try to get a job in japan try to be an average japanese person yeah put in a resume I and mean, in japan when you submit a resume you gotta submit a picture for an average office job or something like that right not something that would be typically a foreign looking or foreign type of job you know let me tell you how many times I've heard people or how food tell me, no, they took one look at my resume and said, no, thank you. With a stone cold face about it. Didn't even consider them. And I struggle like this through many aspects of Japanese society. Because, you know, there's not enough money to be made. It's such a short term, short sighted thing they're doing recently with how foods. You know, they're not really trying to change society here, just trying to make a short term buck. You know, of course, it's probably related to the upcoming Olympics. We want to make Japan look like an open society. We're so international. No, Japan is not. It's all short-sighted, commodified garbage going on. Now, if they really want to take advantage of this, how about instead of trying to commodify everything and try to get your greedy hands on as much money as you can, as fast as you can, how about we use this to deal with a big problem in Japan? called our population crisis. Yeah, Japan has an extreme population crisis. And we're already experiencing shortages across the board in the labor force. We could use it to say, hey, look, we need to increase immigration for our own survival as a nation in the future. Long-term thing, you know. So these people who are mixed race origin, we're going to have to get used to this. We're going to have to change our mindset about how we here on the island view the outside world. How about that? Now that would be actually useful to society. Not this cosmetic, clearly fake idea of promoting high foods and stuff just to commodify it and sell it back to us. You know, and it really touches home for me these days because of course, my daughter is a high food. And she's gonna grow up around all this. And she's gonna have these same struggles and things. But of course, you know, not everyone's going to agree with me on this, so I want to hear what your thoughts about this is, you know, about 
this whole thing and say, look at the how foods, you know, look how great our society is, or look at the economic and social reality of things and see that it's not what it appears to be. So, of course, it's me, John Doe, right here from Tokyo. Check it out.